I feel as though that we have to address the situation at the weekend. Manchester United against Chelsea, Mourinho against his old club, his old supporters. So there was a bit of brawl on the pit side. One of uh, Chelsea's Sari's assistant uh, decided to gloat right in front of Mourinho's face. It's everywhere, everyone's seen it. Everyone saw how quick Mourinho got up to start it. I tell you what, it was like scrappy do. Let me at him. But we've got to give respect for Mourinho. He accepted both apologies from Sari and his assistant. Shouldn't have done it in the first place, but he still accepted it. That is a phase of a changed man. But it seems as though that isn't the only problem that Mourinho has got at the moment. There is a mole in Manchester United. Now, I'm not talking about the creature type thing. Somebody leaked the leading lineup against the Chelsea match. So there is a serious investigation going on. Who leaked this information? Who doesn't have Mourinho's back? What else went down this weekend? Well, Watford finally won against the Wolves, which is good because I started to lose faith and Pereira scored an absolute blinder. Thank you, because I was so close to getting rid of you, my fantasy team, and I told you, I told you straight out, no, this is the week for Pereira. Man City 5-0 against Burnley, which is kind of disappointing, actually, because Burnley is in the Europa League. Burnley were doing so well last year. Burnley are failing miserably. Now there is another team that is failing miserably and I feel as though that the Newcastle fans need to start to accept the fact that this season is not looking very bright for them whatsoever. Ugh. We've got to give respect for Newcastle United. They will still always have their tops off. They will still always support their team and they will still always get arrested again. Another week, another arrest for a Newcastle fan. Okay, so what has been trending this week? Harry Redknapp is going to be eating testicles in the jungle. Watford win against Wolf. Raheem Sterling scores twice for England after his three-year drought. Thierry Henry becomes the new manager of Monaco and also starts up a brand new fashion trend. De Bruyne is back after his nine weeks of injury. Marshall the Magnificent. Deli Ali changes his name to Del Stroyer in the brand new Call of Duty game. Leon Messi breaks his arm in football and Raheem Sterling has started walking ever so weird. <laughs> How are you? 